superior vena cava is formed by the options are subclavian vein internal jugular vein external jugular vein and brachiocephalic vein now uh, this is something very important and yes the uh, venous supply or venous drainage of the facial and neck area is an important aspect for dentistry and it is important for neat as well so yes we should uh, try to remember it while i'm just explaining here and i'll try to make it uh, more simpler for you so yes first of all we should understand the venous supply will start from superior vena cava okay so this is the superior vena cava and that will be branching into it is an illustration like this so it will be branching into right brachiocephalic vein and left brachiocephalic vein so it is going to be the right brachiocephalic vein and this is going to be left brachiocephalic vein right after that you'll be seeing that the left uh, brachiocephalic vein will be giving the subclavian vein left internal jugular vein and your left umbilical vein but we have to just remember two that is on the left side you will be having two tributaries again one is going to be left subclavian vein and the other one is going to be your left internal jugular vein same way on the right side you will be having your right subclavian vein here the right subclavian vein will be there and yes you will also have the right internal jugular vein right internal jugular vein now the left and right internal jugular vein will be going to a foramen here and they will be entering the brain right so what is the foramen name here it is the jugular foramen jugular foramen so this is the whole uh, the venous drainage of the head and neck area and if you try to understand this from here itself so you must be able to understand that the superior vena cava that is the superior vena cava branches into the right and left brachiocephalic veins and these brachiocephalic veins will be forming the superior vena cava direct connection will be there otherwise internal jugular vein vein is somehow connected with it and the subclavian vein is also but yes these two again form the brachiocephalic vein and then these two brachiocephalic vein will be forming your uh, superior vena cava so this is how we should read it so quickly uh, we'll just see this one so here you can see this is your superior vena cava the vein of the interest and here you will be having two uh, uh, veins that is this is going to be the left brachiocephalic vein and this is going to be the right subclavian vein okay so here it is going to be the confluence actually okay now uh, the left brachiocephalic vein will be having the drainage from the internal jugular vein so this is the internal jugular vein so this is how you have to just remember the superficial things so yes brachiocephalic vein the right brachiocephalic vein is 2.5 cm long and it is shorter than the left one because that is 6 cm long only each vein is formed behind the sternoclavicular joint and yes who will be forming this we have already seen internal jugular vein and subclavian vein will be forming this now the brachiocephalic vein unite at the lower border of the right first costal cartilage now this is important student right first costal cartilage to form the superior vena cava so this is the landmark where superior vena cava is formed by the brachiocephalic vein so the correct answer is of course your option 4 that is brachiocephalic vein